Here are three things I did to dial in my ironing settings and turn my 3D print surface from this to this while reducing ironing time by 75%. Number one, run ironing test. Default ironing settings are way too slow and the results aren't that great. I use a test file that covers all speed and flow combinations from 10 to 100. Print it once and you can find the winning settings for your printer. For example, here are two great combinations for my Bamboo P1S. I'll link this test file in description. Number two, speed up for complex surfaces. The two combos work great on flat plane surfaces, but not on the ones with curved features. Curved features force the slicer to break the surface into separate zones rather than maintaining continuous passes, and it causes cooling issues that creates visible seam lines. The solution is to bump the speed even higher. I went to 150 mm per second, total game changer. You can then run a few more tests to fine tune the flow rate. For example, this design used 26% flow rate, and this one used 22% flow rate. Number three, optimize your foundation. Your ironing is as good as what's underneath it. I find that for low high prints with large top surface, like my coasters, use a line rectilinear infill and make it perpendicular to the bridge direction. This way, each line touches as many surface points as possible to create an even and smooth foundation. I hope these three tips help you dial in your ironing settings as well. If you like my designs, all these settings are pre-configured when you download them. Links are in my bio. See you in the next one.